Everyone's celebrating Transgender Day of Visibility. I want you to know that your president sees you. Jill, Kamala, Doug, our entire administration sees you for who you are, made in the image of God and deserving of dignity, respect, and support. God bless each and one of you. So, we, this was one month ago that Biden said the LGBT community was made in the image of God. And that is no lie. We were all made by the image of God. But he then I read the full verse, which in chapter 1, verse 26 says, Then said God, then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness. Amen. But brothers and sisters, and today's video isn't just going straight to the LGBT community, really to all America, really to the whole world, that we need to give the truth and we can't, we, we, we can't, we have to stop lying to people, all right? Because I'm about to read this and um, Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 says, in the name of God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit, amen. If a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman, both of them have done what is detestable. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, this sin, this thing has become now a community. And, you know, as brothers and sisters, we're not supposed to hate one another, but we are supposed to spread the warnings to one another. God, you see, God doesn't force people to come to him, but he does warn them because of how... He's coming soon to pick up his church. And second, the wages of sin is death. But in Romans, how it says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So if we don't escape from our sins, we're already at a point that, you know, so, brothers and sisters, pretty much, you can live your own life but remember, there's consequences to how you live. Now, there's in many churches how they're allowing this in the churches. You know, the churches have really changed. And not only the churches, really all of America, really the whole world. This is not heading just against to this community. This word is for everyone. You see, brothers and sisters, if we want to use the word of God, don't twist it. Say truly what it says. And if you want to mention God, mention the truth. Mention the gospel. Don't just say, because you see, in the last days, it says that there's going to be a lot of false teachers, a lot of false teachings. A lot of people are going to have itching ears. A lot of people are just going to be preaching to their own desires and not by the Holy Spirit. They are not going to be preaching the word of Christ. They're not going to be preaching the truth. And you can see that a lot, a lot today of how there's a lot of, you know, non-truthful things that's going on a lot of evil things you know earlier this what like last year the thing that happened with asteroid world of how many lives were killed and everything but you know many people turned to christ after that because they knew it was very demonic activity you know god was opening up a lot of people's eyes to how dangerous it is living this lifestyle Really, this video is about is just to be careful how you're living and listen to the truth of the gospel. Listen to the truth of Jesus Christ. And honestly, beyond anyone, we're supposed to listen to God before anybody else because he is our leader, he is our shepherd, and he is the way, the truth, and the life. So, brothers and sisters, just remember to escape the wrath to come and receive eternal life through Christ Jesus. And we're going to read one more verse before we end this video. We're going to go to Revelation. We're going to go to Revelation chapter 22. Probably one of the most verses that's been said on this ministry. Praise be God. Uh, okay. Revelation chapter 22. Okay. And I'm going to read to... I'm going to read to 12 to 16. Reading in the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Look, I am coming soon. My reward is with me. 
and I will give to each person according to what they have done in their life and how they and they lived before they died. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes and that they may have the right to the tree of life and may go outside the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs, those who practice magic arts, sexual immoral, any type. Not only sexual immorality like adultery, but also living the life of the of the communities and everything. All right, the murderers, the idolaters, and everyone who loves and practice falsehood. I, Jesus, have sent my angel to give you this testimony for the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright morning star. Amen. And then look what he says at verse 18 and verse 19. I warn everyone who hears the words of the prophecy of the scroll. If anyone adds anything to them, if anyone adds to the word of God, listen to this. Listen to this. God will add to that person the plagues described in this scroll. And if anyone takes the words away from the scroll of prophecy, anyone takes the word away from God or tries to twist it and add stuff, God will take away from that person any share in the tree of life and in the holy city which are described in the scroll. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I pray that this video just lets you know that Christ is coming and the way we live is very, very important. And to change your way of living from how it is right now and turn your life to Jesus Christ who loves you and him is real joy, is real peace. Just come to him fully with all your heart. Repent of all your sins for it says repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. Let's do a let's do a prayer, brothers and sisters, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I present to you everyone who is watching this, Lord God, that may may you let them know that you love them, Lord God, how you got a future and a plan. How you are coming soon to pick up your church, Lord God. Lord God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that may you protect them and their family members, Lord God, in your holy name. That may you protect them from every evil thing in your holy name, Lord Jesus. We pray for victory in your holy name over every sickness, over every broken heart, every situation. Lord God, every transgression in your mighty name, Lord Jesus. Lord God, that may you give us strength to keep on walking through the trials and through the tribulations. Because in your name, we never give up. In your name, we keep on walking and we have victory. Lord God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that these people understand that Christ died for each and one of us on the cross for all of our sins, Lord God. Lord God, are you coming back soon to pick up your church? That may this life transform lives, Lord God. That may this video, Lord God, help people come to you, Lord Jesus, in your holy name, Lord God, we pray. In the name of God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, amen. God bless each one of you, and remember, Jesus loves you.